Hello people, good morning here again. Now go to third port. Third port here again. I just quickly go through quickly, but I talk about my my terrain ideas here because I like to train this map. So first of all, you have different terrains, right? You have the the brownish kind of you know, mecky terrain here, right? You have the bottom green. You have the kind of the light whiter and the greenish bottom, right? I really, I really like this because it gives the map a very clean look to it. In one way, I don't really like doing these kind of space station maps because you can't really play around with those things. You can't do birds, you can't do like, you can do some here, but you can't do really like flying thunderstorms. Doesn't really, don't feel, feel right either. So you can just do the kind of like quirky kind of mixed stuff in the air and not that much anymore. Broken bridge with some electricity flying. Yeah, there we go. You can't do that much. There's some lightning. You can do yeah, some uh, lightning with force fields, I guess. Yeah, so so I played off, I played around with the lightning as well, and doing this kind of clean terrain. I want I want I want the user to be able to look right away and say, okay, I'm playing on middle level, you know, the, uh, and this is bottom, this is high, and I guess the white thing is high as well. It's high is middle actually, but yeah, he he can't know the white I guess probably most over here, but can directly he can understand on the minimap. It's very clean. Say, okay, I am middle. Bottom high, right? You can very easily understand that, and this is a really good part of the map. Uh, this is a very clean in that sense. I don't actually like maps where you do like it brown here and green here, and it can look really good if you do a lot. But in this sense, I think you get really, really good mini map. So I kind of like it as well. And then I have the lightning on this map, which is a kind of new function in uh, the editor. So you can see here it's really really dark. You can spot this uh, drones moving. It's really really dark on the bottom one, which I like as well. Then and you go up here, it becomes really much much brighter. And if we look, we can look here. I think you here. It's a much even lighter here. Then it's three different lightnings, and then there's a four different lightning on the brown thing. And this area is also a different lightning and so on, right? So you get a lot of that kind of stuff. You can actually do that now. You can do it as well, uh, not that easy at least in the uh, in the update or in the, the editor before. So I kind of like that. You can play around with these things to so make it look better, make it look more beautiful. And um, I have this car road, which I kind of like myself at least, because they have the bridge here, which is broken. Then we car in the middle, then of course the car road right here. I feel, I feel it looks pretty nice. I actually had the monorail, which you can see here. Now I actually had that one going around this whole place. Then I figured out that actually the monorail actually is still a um, like a in pass in you know movable unit, so I wanted the monorail to just kind of kind of fly around it, the train because like no, no units can't actually move through it. Okay, so I I moved that and I in, in, end up here instead. So here's a landing uh, pl for planes actually, but you can't see it. You can see it there at all, but you can see it here. I don't know why really because it's like pretty much more area up here. That I played around with. And there's some asteroids, and I kind of like randomized out this kind of stuff to make the map look more coherent. I really don't want to make this kind of fans on this map because I wanted to make it very, very clean and very sleet, and very kind of, you know, very, very in that sense. So I want to be bridges. So it's like this map, this is a space station that the reviews had built, and then it got destroyed, and now we are flying around in space, right? So I didn't want, so I wanted that, so I wanted the asteroids instead. And so on, but at least the map looks really good instead of that. Like, if you look at my, I'm probably gonna do a video of that in one of my uh, the jungle maps, there's like you know, cluttery of trees, stuff like that. It's like, uh, what the hell is this? Uh, so, this is good, I mean, just clean, slight, um, stuff like that. So, anyway, to close up, then Hollow is a really, really huge map. You have match expansions defended by force fields, it's a very big part, work force fields, it's a very big, you know, unique part of the map. You have your pretty easy, you have pretty hard time taking your third or your fourth. You can like get it everywhere, and uh, then you have you know your your middle expansions, important watchtowers, and a very very wide area in the middle. So you can basically see how this would be a macro intense map, right? Or possibly very very quick shift attacks, proxy attacks, very familiar, but a lot of and also a lot of different prong attacks. When you are in this area, you can be attacked from everywhere, basically. You have like four different attack paths. So there's a lot of like, when should I move out? Get maxed for the armies, get up the defenses and so on. So, you know, macro intense map, which I really like. And I hope you play this map. And that's for me. So, uh, see you people.